That fucking remote in the couch! I forgot I don't have the microphone in, so that way there's audio for this, too. So all the technology. Remember this is what we said was, man, if we had this technology when we were in high school, we'd be the biggest fucking loser. Here comes 1992 Cactus Jack into the ring. But instead, where are we? Uh, fully functioning members of society and adults that have managed to have sex with women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, so we just did a test game. Andrew, I think, kind of got it. I, I've been I've been pimping the new Royal Rumble. I've been playing it so much. And this is something that we used to do back in the day constantly with all our friends was have a big old video game rumble and see who could prevail. Um, so I will tell you some of, some of the, the, the keys to victory in this. Okay, you're good. The key's the victory in this, so you kind of know the control. So, um, if you remember the past couple years, the only way to eliminate somebody was like get them over the top rope and like grapple them and like hit the like one button at a time. Mm -hmm. Now you can be pretty much eliminated in any way. So if you get them over the top rope, you can punch them off. Mm -hmm. um, you can still grapple them, but it's all button mashing now instead of one button at a time. Because I know you're better at button mashing than than the other. Um, if they're leaned up against the ropes, you can run towards them and clothesline them over the top rope. But if you get countered, you get eliminated instead. Um, of course, you can still, if you get a finisher, you hit the finisher when they're up against the ropes with the turnbuckle, they can get eliminated. It's a lot more open. You can also just Irish whip them with uh, the O button. And if they're close enough and they're weak enough, they just go right over. <laughs> and you're number three. So there you go. <laughs> Andrew is AJ Styles. You, I'm pretty sure you've seen him wrestle live uh, once. You and TNA, yeah, the, one of the TNA shows you went to. Oh, the, the, the yep, and we wanted to throw your dad's umbrella into the ring. Yeah. Uh, you just chosen to taunt the whole time. Uh, 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 you're gonna click the right button, the right stick, and it will say the person you're focusing on is name or budget. Uh, also, I think the the, uh, the difficulty stuff on hard instead of normal, so I apologize in advance. Got the 2000 Big Show on his way in. What, what made you go AJ Styles? Just the name recognition at the moment? Uh, you like the swag? Okay. And there's a pause already by Andrew. Hey, we have three people. Unscheduled programming. Yep. This is a... Uh, how'd you get eliminated already? <laughs> so you're going to be number five instead. What did you do? <laughs> yeah, uh, me... I think that means I'm probably going to be number... Oh, no, I'm not going to be number four. You're going to be number five. You're Akira Tozawa. I feel like you'd like Akira Tozawa. He's a crazy, uh, crazy Japanese guy that goes, ah, ah, a lot. I think, actually, you do a ton. He'll, ah. He is minuscule. <laughs> That's the big show. He's a cruiserweight. Yeah, my, uh, Andrew Zangri's here. We're, we're going to rumble and, and stream and record and have fun. Talk wrestling. There you go. There you go. Now if you do a grapple, you'll start trying to eliminate him. <laughs> I just want to hit him! Hit him in the back! This is for the Brahma Bull Championship. No possible title. This is the Alley Oop. Remember the Alley Oop? Oh, and here's... You have to wrestle against Triple H, maybe. And you're going to be heartbroken. So it's circle. Circle, 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 circle. <laughs> triangle, triangle, triangle. X, X. <laughs> Also, a cruiserweight against a super heavyweight, you're all, always going to be against it. Uh, so hit X, so you can be number seven. Let's see how many people you can be in this rumble. This will be your third. It also means I'm also not number seven. I'm Cassius Ono, just so everyone knows who they're waiting for. Well, no one's waited for Cassius Ono, except the guy at Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Wait for the order again. Oh, you're uh, 2006 Kurt Angle. That's a good one. He's about, his whole life's about to shatter under drugs. <laughs> so, uh, also now, if you take so much damage, you automatically roll underneath the ropes, and you have to wait for that meter to fill up to get back into it, so it also kind of clears some of the action out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yes, he's very, he's very aware. Getting bitten by Captain Jack. Now I'm in it number eight. Uh, many. We watched uh, Kurt Angle beat the big show for the world title live. He also pitched a buddy cop comedy for WWE films at one point before he got released. I would watch the shit out of you, couldn't you? Yeah. I'm going to go 
up to the Big Show. Big Show's biggest threat. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta face him head on, man. Hey, you got him! You got him! There you go. <laughs> He's not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> yes, that's how it goes. You get encountered, and you go in for that, and he automatically goes right out. Number one, number two, still in. Shane McMahon coming in there. Kurt Angle definitely fucked up Shane McMahon's whole life once. Remember the, the King of the Ring match where he went through all that glass? Well, actually, he went on his head four times, and then Kurt Angle just threw him through the glass. So yeah, so you're gonna be underneath, so see that little meter there? Yeah, at any point there, you just hit X and you automatically get up. But like when you get more damage, you have to, you have to wait for some time. Rusev, one of my current faves. Jack, you can fuck right off. Uh, he's formerly Chris Hero in the Independence, probably again another guy you've probably seen wrestle live when we went to tomorrow eight shows. Uh, got released from the WWE, gained like 60 pounds because <laughs> he has a thyroid problem, killed it on the Indies, and now they resigned him. And now he's doing good work. He's about to wrestle Lars Sullivan after the next takeover next week. He has a cool, he always wears like basketball jerseys and stuff, but now he's in WWE, so I just, guess he put his name via the theme instead of like the actual jersey. You want to change the name? You take change Bootleg rock and roll. Uh, what's the name of Jerry Glitter song? <laughs> Two? <laughs> Was he just pooping when he wrote that? <laughs> he got two eggs. I think he found a guy. I think he found Kurt Angle as, as, as a person. Shit! And that's why you don't do that on a regular basis. So I'm now out. I'm out, yeah. His theme song literally starts with, oh no, oh no, oh no. Try to fucking get the time out so early. So yeah, if you try to do it against like a fresh competitor, then you're going to probably get countered and get in. You gotta wait for somebody to be weak. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Kurt Angle's stumbling like it's 2008. Next. I'm figuring it out. It's starting to scare me. I have to come at you. I'm Eric Young. Uh, another guy you should recognize from TNA who went to WWE and has done infinitely better. Picture of me, but I'm small. Got it. He's managing. There you go. He's got me for the other. You are. James Coffey's the key. Got an Uso coming in. I'm gonna get rid of the big show. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm gonna power pump the big show over the top rope. The big show weighs two of Eric Young's. It, ha it definitely has. Oh yeah, if you're confused at home or on the stream, uh, we lost one of my baby remotes in the uh, in the couch. Every time I sit down, it goes off. <laughs> we'll make every seat fun. Mr. Perfect. We haven't had to do any of the... Can do it. Angle's it. Let me get it. We haven't seen any of the crazy uh, superstars yet. From, uh, from this game or from last year's? Uh, well, our white friend Bill was a big, uh, a big, a uh, big favorite, and you're gonna be Tatanka, which is great. Um, I like political Shrek. So that was Shrek, but he was dressed up like Donald Trump, and his shirt said, uh, "Get these people out of my swamp." Um, Slappy from the Goosebump books. 
Um, can remember the other ones that were good. Man, there's so many. Well, our longest reigning college football champion of all time now is Captain Crunch. But, like, we need to make him, like, well, so we just like a, or like a really racist cereal proprietor. Uh, maybe there's another random one. It was a pretty good, uh, it was a pretty good, uh, Weird Al Yankovic. This, this year's game, though, already has some, some good stuff. Uh, we saw the debut of Veg, which is a seven foot tall dude that was a vegan lord. Yeah, and then, uh, Dipsy from the Teletubbies. <laughs> we might see one of them any moment. It's a Tonka, right? <laughs> Buffalo. Big Valentine just refuses to execute games. Gotcha, sorry. I had to eliminate you once. Alright, uh, do you want, are you gonna be number 23? Or maybe move your... You can pick what number you want. I'm just gonna do <laughs> Alright, she gets it. The coffee's good. Stop sucking up there. Time for a... a <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Oh, fuck. You took 18 or 19. Oh, well, you could have been Braun Strowman. <laughs> Your current Podswoggle champion. And, uh, I think currently, I love my boy Pentagon. Maybe my favorite wrestler right now. Braun Strowman is amazing. <laughs> he is a fucking Looney Tunes character brought to life. He's a fucking monster that can actually talk and actually work. And they haven't messed up. There's something about him walking out at any time, going, Braun is amazing. Uh, the running power slam, I've never been a big fan of, uh, even in British Bulldogs, but something about the way that he does it, I like, like, the snap to it. I'm fine with it. He's so fucking huge. The Killian Bane, who you were asking me about earlier. I don't know why you're coming in with a fucking finisher already. Oh, that's fair, but whatever. Oh, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, if you get it off. <laughs> That's Earthquake, you racist son of a bitch. <laughs> nice, oh yeah, the one winged angel, I forgot. He's got Kenny Omega's finisher. Of course, the biggest takeaway for you was Daryl Takahashi. I knew going into that show that you were going to love the, the uh, stuffed cat, who might legitimately win, like, best non-wrestling wrestling personality of the year in the Wrestling Observer. Hey, yo, what's this all then? Professor Pirate, this is a midday stream with my best friend Andrew Zanger, who's in town. We did it last year. They were recording a podcast. We put it up on the YouTube, as I called it. This is me eliminating Jake the Snake Roberts. What the fuck this is? This is the Brahma Bull title. Here comes nondescript Nick Miller. This is a... I mean, yeah. And trust me, this is Greg Valentine in 91. Greg Valentine now is the size of fucking four Oldsmobiles. And I have four tired Eric Young. Oh, let's see if I can out. Yeah, I got it. I didn't mean that wasn't a cue for you to eliminate me. <laughs> oh, this is the first time we've done this. No, 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 no! You've always been better at butter mashing than me. I hate you so much. Oh, fuck's sake! No, like, like for what? Seventeen years of Mario Party and wrestling games and everything else. <laughs> yes, we both have. But you've always, no one was ever better than Andrew Hicks. No, I told you. I told you. Uh. Oh, did it go off? I can't even hear. God damn it. No one was ever better at button mashing than Andrew Hicks. But you're probably second. So I have to eliminate you every other way. <laughs> cool, I'll take, I'll take the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior? Come on in, where nightmares are the best part of my day! Rest in these, I think that's his... 
It's a 4th of July outfit at least, but... <laughs> we need to wrestle that. And, uh, Rumble 91, something like that? I don't know. I'll do that, so I'm not gonna say. Let me get rid of Mick fucking Miller. Look at this guy. Shit. <laughs> uh, I think he would have been a good construction foreman. When the concrete hits the ground! You want some fucking cheese, lady? <laughs> oh, missed you. Oh, Braun's out. Nick Miller made it Braun Strowman is the least believable thing about this fucking game. <laughs> you were Kurt Angle, though, so that part's fine. I know. I feel bad. I, I, that's why I didn't even bother to ask you again, like where you want to sit chicken. Oh, there you go, Nick Miller. That's just fine. Thank you, Susan. The baby's asleep. I don't think you can tell the silence. We got, only got a few more left. So we gotta mind our mind our peeps. Little gentleman Jack. Little Jack. Big Valentine still and that's ridiculous. Yeah, Kieran Dane's dope. He used to wrestle with Big Damo. I uh, don't I still don't know what that means. Maybe his name is Damon and he just forgot the other, I'm not sure. Absolutely. He was in the Under the Giant Memorial Battle Register. He was one of the last three. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to hit Finn. <laughs> I hit you instead. Yeah, he's good. God damn this fucking remote. Oh, we're gonna get it. We have only got a few left. And Greg Valentine is still there. Say with me at home, that lesbian. I like Finn Balor work on that. There's a long standing, well, not really, like a few people online thought about it. I had mentioned it, but I thought Finn Balor maybe was, was gay at some point, but he said he didn't Kathy Kelly, which is the exact opposite. Breaking Kelly's heart. In 25? You like Graham in the league. He's. One of the most underrated wrestlers in the world. Very much like Kalisto, a, a high flying cruiserweight. <laughs> Perfect. I'll eliminate Greg Valentine. <laughs> He's got the one. <laughs> there you go. We got to eat chops too. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I was going over to you, Apollo Cruz. I love Apollo, dude, but no. <laughs> he has just no ability on the mic, which is terrible. They put him with Pettis and Neil, a couple of help. They just, they just gave up on him already. He's young. He'll get released. He'll be back. He just got called up way too fucking early. That's all it was. Vince, at WrestleMania season, was like, you know, we need a young, hot black guy. He called him up, he watched one thing with Chris Jericho, and they just he pushed him. Daniel Bryan, who you will probably see at the next ROH show you go to, because <laughs> he will stupidly be wrestling. Well, not even, like, stupidly. It's the whole thing. WWE just won't clear him, ever. Because of like they're scared he's gonna like die on their die on his watch. No! God damn it, why did I do that? I had a finisher. Um so yeah, when his contract's up, he wants to wrestle. So he's gonna go somewhere and wrestle. Hey! Hey Jillian! <laughs> Stop doing laps! Oh, and I'm Baron Corbin! <laughs> she very much did. Eyes are in the back of her head. Fine, I'll win this is Baron Corbin. I fucked up a move already. <laughs> Jillian, I'm doing bad enough as it is. Man, fucking Andrew bought, uh, uh, Rich bought up me the other day that he found the tweet. I was like, yep, just hanging out downtown, ran into the future of NXT. And I'm like, man, <laughs> shit. 
I'm very excited. I thought it was going to be good. You adding in your two cents? <laughs> Jillian, who, Jillian, who has more, Jillian, whose hair is better than Barry Corbin's. Like at a certain point, he just give up. His hair starts behind his ears. Oh, we move Apollo. Yep, lost Apollo. Alexander Wolf. He totally just talked right over him getting into the ring. We try to get rid of him. Nope, all right, so we're gonna have four left. That's under 30. This flew by. What do I know about Big Cass? Um, I think Enzo propped him up very well. <laughs> Although Enzo, man, like, so the, I think they're purposely telling Enzo to get bad, so the crowd will boo him. Like, the past couple weeks, like, he just wasn't... Oh, okay, well, that one's that was easy. <laughs> they're just doing it so that way the crowd will actually decide that they don't like him. Yeah, I mean, look, Enzo's a, a crazy dick. Also, apparently, Cass is a big Trump supporter, too. So they're, they're both, they both have flaws. <laughs> All right, final three. What a weird-ass WrestleMania it's going to be. There's no way. There's no way. It's not in that couch, no thing. I do find that remote right now. Don't worry, Andrew. I'll just do all the work. It's fine. Oh, God damn it. Or you guys can double team. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Rest. There you go. Big banter. Taking a breather. Yes. <laughs> convulsion that Andrew has. <laughs> Again, you're also like cruiserweight trying to eliminate yeah. a super heavyweight, so you have an uphill battle to begin with. I've never seen Big Cat. I've never seen Darren Corbin throw a bulldog before. Oh, you big son of a bitch. No! God damn it. No, my go! <laughs> Uh, uh, Rob Reiner, correct? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Rob Reiner. Directed North. I'm gonna... <laughs> Got him, okay. Baron Corbin, Grand Metal League. <laughs> he does reset. <laughs> no, I'm going to win the catering battle. No, I'm going to win the catering battle. All that practicing walking in a circle. <laughs> These two have the chemistry of a fucking dolphin and Sadie Hawkins. <laughs> no, why didn't you go down? Stop bothering! <laughs> <laughs> Took the fucker over. Jill, you okay? <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. Everyone at home, she's fine. End of days. Oh, I think I got this. No, pick him up. What are you doing, you dummy? She's trying to openly grab the controller. Nope. Got it! Oh, but really, no, I'm the loser. I have Baron Corbin winning a title. I didn't nearly kill my daughter. She took a butt bump. <laughs> Good game. We're short. She's fine. She's happy. Big heel turn from all that. <laughs> Not. Nah. Oh, sure, we got time for one more. One more quick one. Now that you know what you're doing as well, the, the second half of that was very good for you. You definitely know how to maneuver somebody in a counterclockwise motion. So that's, that's a positive. I'm going to try clockwise this time. Ooh. Well, what about you? Andrew, so yeah, so uh, uh, Andrew walked in and we didn't give him the memo that she's not a big hat fan. So um, she started crying hysterically when she saw him. I walked in. Why well, you walked in wearing a hat? Um, let's uh, let's hope that that isn't the rest of your life. That's 
Okay. But there. All right, I'm gonna pick here. Oh, I'm not gonna be Julia, in though. I won't be that one. Well, I can say that. Jump book, Nash. Come here, Julie. Look. Let's see. All right, let's do it. <laughs> You're gonna be Triple H. Yeah. Peak, peak, peak Triple H. Right, I'll be Samoa Joe. Peak Triple H. Damn right. Julie, you come here, baby. I think there's one title left that I haven't given no, up. No, Julie. Hit X again. I don't know why it doesn't. Uh, it's this old SWWE title. Hopefully, we get some of those kooky randoms. Mm. We didn't have any. That's weird. Normally, we at least have a few randoms. A few randos. You rando. <laughs> <laughs> Jillian decked out in her owl pants. I haven't looked up owls. I want to see what funny owls there are to play as. Maybe, oh, probably, what? it's in this couch. There's probably Night Owl from Watchmen. Um, uh, Owl Roker. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I like that. Um... Isn't there a vowel, like a, a rest of... Vowel Venus? Vowel Venus, yeah. He just keeps teaching you what vowels are. <laughs> Fuck, I like vowel Venus for a lot. You gonna make them later? Yeah, we'll make vowel Venus. We'll just download a vowel Venus, and we'll deck him out like a schoolhouse rock character. It'd be great. Jillian, don't go for the cord. God, I just saw the ending of Jaws. <laughs> no, Jaws 2. He's Jaws 2. Yeah, come distract me some more. See number one is wonderful. Great. I get, this. I get to start. Oh. Samoa Joe's number one. Yeah, Joe's killing it, man. I'm very happy they put Joe with Brock because it legitimized him in the audience's eyes. He's he's one of the only people in the world. That like when Brock Lesnar is shouting off mic at him, he goes, "You shut up and look at me when I'm talking." And the crowd goes, "Whoa!" Like, I hope he he's so fucking run down though. Which is funny. I, the reason why I just saw somebody post on Reddit. So he wrestled Sting in like 2007 or eight, like the main event of Bound for Glory, and he did the dumbest spot ever. He's standing like they're b battling in the crowd, and like he's up on like the top part of. Uh, the section. He runs and he dives as a drop kick into the stairs and he lands like where one of the railings is. His dick goes right into the railing and he does a flat back of, like where the where the steps are. Like steps like rigid sharp steps. That was 10 years ago and he's that's gotta be the start of it. <laughs> Jilly no. And ever since then he's I mean he's still great. He's the mojo but He's definitely not as fast or as limber as he used to be. Lost step. I mean, speaking of loss of step, here's WCW Bret Hart. Of course, if you're if you listening to show for all, you know that we often joke about what Bret Hart physically can't do. What can Bret Hart physically not do? Yeah, he's, he's done something funny. Like, he can't fry an egg, probably. Uh, he had a hard life. Send a fax. Send a fax. <laughs> That's how I like that. Bret Hart, Bret Hart physically can't send a fax. Right, I'm gonna just sit up <laughs> because this remote in this couch is driving me insane. Oh, uh, against uh, somebody's name I can't say on the podcast. <laughs> After Owen died. Yeah, that was the best one. He had a couple good ones with DDP too, but um, I mean the most important thing he did was uh, when he Goldberg speared him. He had that fucking metal metal plate on. That's pretty dope. So I've never in this game been number one and one at all, and I just jinxed myself from ever doing it again. Especially with you involved. It's gonna be even harder with a person playing. I might not even make it right now. Diesel. <laughs> it smells it smells like cake in here. <laughs> uh did you watch the show Detroiters on Comedy Central? Rich was talking about apparently Kevin Nash like as like a reoccurring spot on that and he said he was actually amazing. <laughs> and he's the best part of the longest yard. Come here. 
Rugi. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was Lugi or Rugi. This is great. I'm in the ring with Diesel, Bret Hart, and Kane. <laughs> You're playing with my kid. I'm done doing all right. I'm hanging in there. Of course, Kane has a renewed push while he's running for office. Oh, he looks terrible, dude. He's 50 years old. People that size barely live to 50. That's not like a sad thing. Like, you don't see a lot of 7-foot, 50-year-old dudes walking around. And granted, it's there's not a lot of 7-foot dudes, but... Get him, Kane. Kane, you... Kane, you dumbass. <laughs> Look how political this is. God damn it. And Rhino's another one that, back in the day, should have been bigger. He got hurt, and then he came back, and he really had nothing for him. Rhino, his legitimate middle name is Guido. I don't know what. I, I don't know why I think that's so funny. His middle name is Guido. Yep. It's like Terrence Guido Garen or something. James walking through Sam's legs. I'm getting choked out by Kane. It's a typical Sunday afternoon in the mullet household. Oh, and Andrew's in. I'm not gonna get beaten by Kane. I'm not gonna get beaten by Kane. I'm not gonna get beaten by Kane. I'm not by Kane. <laughs> Fuck! That's how difficult it is, dude. Ugh, maybe the six. That's terrible. What did, what did she just say? Fart poop? Did you do a fart poop? She did the fart poop. I'm the Brian Kendrick. For the next career resurgence. Yeah. Running around here is Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick is crazy. He thinks... He, he's one of those, like... He's not a flat earther, but I know he thinks like a lot of crazy shit. What's, what, what's another one of those, like, popular? Like, Area 51 is actually, like, something to do with Lee Harvey Oswald or something. I don't know. Yeah. That sounds about right. One of those room 237 people. Come here. Noam Dar. Oh, are you out? <laughs> I told you, I warned you. Oh, sometimes cucumbers taste better pickled, huh? What? Who? <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. Pick your guy. Nine or ten. You always, you always skip the numbers, man. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take more numbers off. It's it. been working great for you. Come on, Kendrick. You could have been Shawn Michaels. You said you're going to be like fucking Epico or somebody. Oh, don't sneeze at Epico. The person I've won the most rumbles with has been Epico. Just because I keep getting Epico after I've been eliminated six times. You found it? Oh. And Hoffa. <laughs> Hoffa's underneath them, too. <laughs> what, is she stashing him back there or something? Oh my god! <laughs> There's a handful of shit! Jason Jordan? <laughs> Jason Jordan is good, he's just getting overpushed. Oh, don't play it now! Good, now we have two of them. We have one of them can probably play the Um, Bret Hart, number two, still in the ring. I'm gonna point that out. Um... I was my Jason Jordan to what it was. He, he's a good, like, collegiate-style, you know, wrestler. They should never broke him and Chad Gable up, but they did. You know, I just can't determine who to go after. One thing I will say is awesome that we haven't pointed out yet, having seven or eight guys in the ring instead of being maxed at six always keeps the match going and entertaining. I really need to get rid of Kane here. Oh, fuck off, Kane! God, you smell! <laughs> what do you think Kane smells like? Ah, there you go. But because he just went like he lit a candle. 
Oh, good, I have a finisher. Please, later, Kane! Kane is never to permanently burn something. Oh, Jesus. Rhino's also gone. My child's very happy we lost Kane. Or very sad that we lost Kane. He does, man. He's got, he's got a lot of potential. Grab heart in the back. Physically can't see if he has a shoulder anymore. And Michael's looking at no end jar. Uh, I, I, I kind of, like, not, like, as big as, like, others. But I appreciate him. I think I had him on my pumpkin one year. My sister, my sister every single year would draw a wrestler on my pumpkin. I had Sting one year, Bret Hart one year, Shawn Michaels one year. Basically, whoever was the man. It was never like I got like fucking like I don't know, like nasty boy Jerry Sags on my pumpkin or something. Like I always, you know. Ooh, an IRS pumpkin would be good. Just go around and like smash the pumpkin so the pumpkin and pay a tax. Let's go after Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels trained. Uh, kind of so. God damn Greg fucking Valentine. He's the only one we've had multiples of. Shawn's gone. Jesus. Snap power down. Uh, circle. Yep. And then the, like whatever direction you want to send him to. <laughs> the Donka. Oh, he's busted right open. He's been in there for number one on what? Like 13? That's pretty good. JBL, he's a big old piece of shit. I don't have to deal with him on a weekly basis anymore. Uh, no, you can double dose his Corey Graves, which is great. He's the best color commentator in the business. But yeah, besides Jillian Eliza. The big favorite on our streams. No, Kendrick! Kendrick, no! Kendrick! Kendrick! Kendrick, no! Kendrick! Come on, Brian! There you go. Wow. From Sawyer Fulton, who's no longer in the company. <laughs> The lowest rated person in the game because they thought uh, he was going to be around. I really have nothing else to speak about. <laughs> First level. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's good at analyzing the color she sees. Very advanced for her age. <laughs> Controversial opinion there, Jillian. On the outside, so you gotta wait until the uh, notification becomes the best Royal Rumble competitor of all time. That's wonderful. Yeah, so if you wait it out until you get to the white, you actually get like a momentum bonus. Um, or you can get up any time. I don't get up just because. Yeah, if somebody goes over and gets you, you actually like, lose lose the buffer. Jesus! Oh, you jumped over four people! Oh, that fucking... <laughs> no idea! I don't know why it didn't work. I've never seen that before. The anticipation charge finisher and then, you know, a missed punch. The regular old big show. Sorry. Got him. Come on, Kendrick. You and me are going all the way. We're gonna we're gonna round third base and you and me are gonna make out, Kendrick. God, I don't want to touch any of these people. All these people are gonna kill me. Look at this, we're not this next guy, we're the guy after this. Oh, you're gonna be this one. Okay. Dash Wilder from the Reviver. The Revival? The Revival. You were told to say fuck the Revival because you are not The Revival is great. 
It's the best fake feud in wrestling. <laughs> Revival's been out like most of the year because Dash Wilder got hurt and then he got healthy and then two weeks later Scott Dawson got hurt. So I'm sure it's pleased Vince McMahon to no end, so I'm sure it won't affect their push at all when they return. New JBL. Bret Hart is still in there. I probably just jinxed him. And I did. <laughs> Hell of a run for Bret. Fuck you, JBL. Let's start that instead of fuck the revival. Fuck JBL. Somebody got to. Dude, who are you looking at? Dash Wilder. Literally can't see anything over Sawyer Fulton and the Big Show. Uh, yes, exactly right. That's exactly his dinner. It's kind of weird. He's always he's super fast, but then he just starts doing a Willy Wonka impression. We're gonna, when Sean Benjamin came back, they're actually going to put him up there so they can do some Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor bits. Then, or they're going to put Scott Dawson in blackface, one of the two. <laughs> we could decide. No, Kendrick! All right, well, that's yeah, fair enough. We're even. <laughs> what I was about to ask. Who is that? And it's Chris fucking Jericho. You heard the you heard the Chris Jericho news, correct? Uh, he's going to be uh, his next match is going to be against Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom, the big New Japan show. First time Chris Jericho's left WWE in like almost twenty years. Yeah. It was very and also uh, uh, I I feel I should tell you this. Um, all the puzzle guys, uh, we are determining if we're going to go to Chris Jericho's Rocking Rager. Uh, the Chris Jericho boat tour? Yeah, we all want to go. You need to join us in the Chris Jericho boat ship. Boat ship. It's in October. It's, <laughs> it's a five night cruise. I'm like, Norwegian? It's gonna be fun. Epico! Oh, you're fucking done, son. You are fucking done. I got Epico again. Here we go. Come on, Epico. You and me, buddy. Let's do this. Oh, there goes Dash. I was excited to eliminate Dash. Pick your next guy. Trust me, I wanna. I'm just a cruise fan. Plus, a cruise and wrestling, it's gonna be the biggest fucking bearded sausage fest ever. Biggie. Good show. It would, it would. Except when you are intending to eat at the buffet. <laughs> And there's never any food on it. Oh, they're indie wrestlers, though. Oh, yeah, but they, they're they poor. <laughs> so they're not going to... Yeah. They're going to be loading up their bags to come back into the country. Oh, nice. Got him. Meanwhile, I'm Epico trying to eliminate the fucking big show. Rick Rude. Why am I wasting my finger strength? <laughs> it's really all, all it is. He is. Uh, they fucked him up on the main roster because they immediately made him a baby face and put him in a feud with Dolph Ziggler, but you know. Yeah. Well, he's 40. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like all the TNA guys, man. <laughs> They're old. <laughs> they've, they've been doing things for a while. Sawyer Fulton is still in, which is absurd. Here's Neville. Being of absurd, Neville is gone, which is absurd. Neville who might be on that boat, you never know. <laughs> Neville quit. Neville fucking flat out quit. Ooh, out of nowhere! I didn't think I was gonna get you. Well, I mean, it's happening any time. The Royal Rumble. Anything can happen, Michael. Sawyer Fulton will not eliminate me. <laughs> Why would Neville smell? Well, he's, he's being a heel. Like I'll pick him next day. Oh! Yeah, I wasn't looking for you. It's because it's he's hey, British. Oh, 
Okay. Except for Batman. That went a much better way than I was anticipating. <laughs> <laughs> no, Big Show! Big Show! I'm fine, Jillian. I'm fine. I almost lost this remote in the couch again. <laughs> you want some pizza? What? It's stuffed pizza. Not like stuffed crust. It's a stuffed pizza pizza. Who's that? Big Show's out? Yeah. So you're the next guy, right? Rick Swan. I love Rick Swan. He's another that cruiserweight. He's <laughs> <laughs> the rich ass swan. Alright, so <laughs> that was. <laughs> you weren't doing anything. <laughs> he dances though. You would have liked to dance around with him. Were you Rich Swan? Oh, you already kicked somebody. Okay. Pokemon, don't fucking do that, Pico. <laughs> Welfare duck. <laughs> you don't take Scott Hall. God, if your wrestlers had a Fitbit on today, they'd have already gotten their 10,000 fucking steps in. Epico just chilling. Gonna get that bonus. Gonna get that bonus, son. Right, get up, Epico. Come on. You got shit to do. It's taking you so long. Okay. That was a good dude. Uh, Tlingo is tag team. They used to be called the Mighty Don't Kneel. And now they're the mighty 61, and I still don't get it. They haven't been on the roster for like a year because uh, the other one got hurt. Or was it that one? I, I, until this game, I didn't know which one was which. Between the two members of the tag team. They're good. I mean, they're good wrestlers. They're just, they're booming. Which one I've gotten in this argument a couple times. Just I just don't get them. It's really good. It's fucking easy. Good. That's all. All edges. Edge is just good. Right, Toto? That's gonna come back to haunt me. Yep, told you, Edge. I told you, Toto. Edge is just good. Peace. Yeah, I had a spinner. <laughs> oh, but Epico is fucking beat. Come on, Epico. Don't rip my heart out. Don't go epico in the heart. Can't stand. It's got all beaten up on young kids like usual. Oh, God damn it, I was gonna get I just love catching people who are not fucking paying attention. I forgot Chris Jericho was standing. Then I thought about boats. <laughs> Boats and hoes will not be on the trip show for Rock and Rage. Uh, Jim Brew is going to be there doing comedy and music. Yep. But at first, like, when you read the website, it's just the bands. I'm like, oh, great, Jim Brewer in his band. That's what I want to see. And then at the end, it's like, stand up. Ron Funches. Actually, like, it would be fun. It just... There's a smell on that boat. 91 Sting trying to get rid of Epico. He's gonna fail. No! Epico, no! Damn it! I'm so close. Epico close. And I'm the British Bulldog. Shout out to Augie. Their relatives. 
Oh, but Glenn close. Jericho's out, so you're gonna be stuck as Scott Hall. <laughs> no, they're saying like, <laughs> if you get out, you're done. <laughs> you're immediately gonna leave. 30. Nailed it. There's his edge. No one's ever kicked out of it. Up, or, but it, as long as you hit it. Well, what's Scott Hall doing? It? <laughs> he's like, the next, he's like, if I never did it in the match, because I knew I was gonna lose. Way to protect him, protect the finish. All right, so the final six. Got Cactus Jack, Ridge Bulldog, Scott Hall, Sting, Neville, and Nick Miller. Plenty of fun options here. Very good. I don't know the match is getting serious. <laughs> the talking is stopped. Oh, Neville's gone. Andrew is convulsing. Okay, Nick Miller. Please, Nick. Phil, you're fine. I really want to knock you over again. <laughs> That'd be fun. You good? Oh, I just got bitch slapped like that. I was jagging and headbutted. Shock only one of these four guys is dead. At least. Thing and Cactus Jack are so fresh too. <laughs> it's gonna, gonna be a little while. Wear him down. That oh, thing's a little bit more beat up than I thought. Right? That's not a pterodactyl we bought. That's my child. I can come help you, I'll try it. Here's a Oh I gotcha! Damn it. There's no god. Okay, fucking WCW 1991 number 93 I should say. Good. Roll Bulldog. Tied. Come on, Cactus, get him out. Oh damn it, I early recovered because I thought he was gonna get him. Dump him, Sting. Dump him. What the fuck was that? Oh, the running headbutt to the dick it looked like. Alright, got Sting. I got that first. No. Those are signatures. Cactus is about to be his finisher. No, let me go over. Oh, oh, come on. The throw shouldn't count. That was a risk. Yes, it paid off. The British Bulldog and Baron Corbin. What? <laughs> WCW 1993. That's all it is. Whew, good games. Hell yes. Still didn't get as deep as I wanted in any, any portion of anybody. Still have to be like number 28 to win, but you know what? I'll take it. You still got it. You still got it. We both still got it. And we got to get out of here. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Pod Swoggle Wrestling Podcast. We hope you enjoyed this uh, silly wrestling banter. You know, kind of kind of week off. It's be like a holiday episode, basically. And it's like, yeah, take the week off, enjoy, enjoy your Thanksgiving, your Christmas, for everyone that said they're on. Check us out, arcadeaudio.net slash, uh, arcadeaudio.net for this podcast. 
uh, Podswoggle, all the other ones, patreon.com slash arcade audio. We get bonus content, all kinds of fun stuff there, social media. This stream is going to be up on YouTube when uh, Tope puts it up for your... The YouTube, not not just any YouTube, the YouTube Kendrick. Um, you want to plug anything, Andrew? Uh, just gotta plug stuff in the wall. <laughs> <No. laughs> so after that, even if you plug something afterwards, everyone would have been like, "I'm not gonna check that out now." <laughs> no, thank you. I like to plug Julian Lodge because she is having a good time. She is. Stuff pizza. Being what? In her little, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fashion a, a roof for that and make her her own little baby hell in a cell. Nice. Heck in a sec. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Samantha, any final thoughts? <laughs> She's the Samantha, who's opening up a coffee establishment very, very soon, called Sammy Beans. Mm -hmm. Her new nickname, is Sammy Beans. Mm -hmm. What's up, Sammy Beans? But yet, not five golden rings. Hmm. Look! Yeah, I lose things, right? I, I didn't lose the remote, right? That was my parents. Also, I'm going to most of those pacifiers, too, I mean. The pen and the bottle no, cap. three of those four pacifiers were locked after you, because we had lost them. They had four copies of the pacifier with Sergeant Ben Diesel with the cash. <laughs> Jillian, final thoughts? Yeah, no, we're running long. For, <laughs> for Andrew, for Sam and my baby, this is Mullet Sign off of Podswell Wrestling Podcast Entertainment. We are slogging off. Who's the baby? Baby. Baby. Who's the baby, Jilly? Baby. Oh, this is all that sweet after after footage of Samantha just saying, say baby. 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 Baby's kids. Baby's kids. <laughs>